Luke there, and you're looking and watching Young Guitar, and I'm very honored to be here with you all. I hope you're having a great day. Just goofing around, playing a little bit, uh, jamming by myself. So, hope you enjoy. Hey, I'm going to show you guys a couple little variations on an old song that I wrote called Song for Jeff. This is a little bit more of the more the mellower side, yeah. So you have that theme, that's the melody, but to improvise off of that, you have a lot of different options here. You're going from G, G major 7th to uh, C minor. Which is an interesting chord change, but uh, check it out. harmonics there which is a real interesting thing yeah with my floating bridge here I'm able to palm things and Now that's one of the cool things about this L3. Actually, all my guitars, with, this, uh, with the exception of the Floyd Rose ones, I had this thing built in like this because I like to be very expressive. <laughs> to mix up the bending of this hand. the normal way to, I always like to scoop up on things. Instead of... I'm going to do a couple of variations in A, using all the sorts of... Another thing I like to do is uh, sometimes I, I do these weird bands. So it sounds like you're kind of like falling down the stairs, but you actually are. So you're never really letting go of the phrase, you're kind of continuing it on. Everybody knows that one. Using my fingers on 
on this one and bending uh, instead of going sort of the funk comes from that. And a variation of that you can do with the fingers a little bit more. Done with the pick and the middle finger. See like that? practice because you're gonna, it'll be all out of tune. You'll think you're bending the B string too, but the B string needs bending the G string. Alright, little turn around. And Reverend Billy G as well, right? You stay on the high, high A, and you walk down on the D string from the G. that stop you go Another cool lick, as we're in the key of A. There's your chord voicing, right? So instead of playing scales, you're basing stuff around. Hi, my name is Trev Lugather, and I am here to show you a lick that I wrote on my Pop's new record, Transition, which is an amazing record. And um, I kind of came to him with this riff. I thought it was kind of really cool with this band I used to play with. And I was like, Pop, I have this riff that I want you to dig. Maybe it's something we can work on for your record. And, um, and I'm happy that Young Guitar Magazine Japan will be the magazine to uh, check it out. But uh, I walked up to him and I was like, I have this riff and started like this. So it's kind of more straightforward 
CJ and my pop really kind of made it very interesting form and timing for for how to end up being on the record. But uh, the riff was originally just really straightforward. So I always play uh, I always play in drop D. Uh, it's just how I taught myself how to play guitar. Started doing these chords that I kind of just kind of developed into being my own style. And so a lot of the riffs, every you know, this particular riff is in drop D. So if you're trying to learn this riff, make sure that the low E is D. So here we go. So this is a riff that uh, I wrote with my pop on his solo record, Ever Changing Times, which came out about, I don't know, five years ago. And um, this is the chorus riff, which once, once again, the low E is dropped to D. So here we go. This is a song we wrote together. This is one of the first songs we ever wrote together, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is the first one. It comes up with these great riffs. It's not just stock drop D stuff at all. And, uh, sometimes I go, what the fuck was that? Yeah. So anyway, he ripped a pretty awesome solo on this on the record. And uh, let's see. Well, let's I, you know, it's now. been, what, five years? So who knows? Six years? Maybe? Yeah, whatever. Let's all see right. what we got. Oh. Thank you. 